Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to discuss with you what are the important machine learning use cases or what are the important data science problems that can be solved on an e-commerce platform. So when it comes to e-commerce platform guys, we have to understand how it is different from a physical store. So what is an e-commerce platform guys? Whenever you are trying to sell something on the internet, okay, these can be movies or shows or products or services or data, anything. If you are trying to sell on the internet, that becomes an e-commerce platform. Now, with our data science skills, how we can help e-commerce platform with different machine learning use cases. Now, suppose guys, I open a physical store or an offline store and you are my customer, okay. I am trying to sell you some t-shirts. Now, what are the few things I need to take care so that my business does well? Number one, I have to improve your experience when you walk into my store. So I can put some good lights, I can have proper arrangement of the clothes, I can have a person who walks to you and tells you how can I help you ma'am or how can I help you sir. So these things will improve your experience in my store. Second thing is, how do I maximize my revenue or profit or sales? That is the part two. There are ways to do it, which we will discuss. And third is, how do I make sure that somebody who purchased one item from my physical store comes back to my store again? That is, how is the post sale experience for a customer? Now, all these three pillars, guys, if you take care in an online or offline, any kind of store, your business will do good. Now let's take example of Netflix, Amazon, Flipkart. All these guys are nothing but e-commerce guys. So we will understand what can be done for these guys. Let's start without any further delay guys. But one more time I want to request you to please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet. And also press the bell icon so that you receive all the notification. So guys how to improve customer experience in an online platform. Let's relate it with Netflix. What happens when you open Netflix for the first time? It will start playing trailer of some very famous movie. Okay. Now here are two ways guys. One is if you are logged into the Netflix and second is if you are not logged into the Netflix. Okay. So if you are not logged in, then I have no clue about your preference, about your taste, about your choice, nothing. If you are logged in, I have some information regarding that. First scenario is also known as cold start problem because we don't know what to show to this customer. We might be showing recommending some comedy movies and the customer might not be at all interested or in a mood to watch comedy movies. If I know some taste or preference of the customer, then I can send those things first on the home page. This is one example of recommendation engine. I spoke about sending something which is making sense for me as a customer. Suppose I am logged in and Netflix knows my taste, password, preferences. Netflix can recommend me something. I log into Flipkart. Flipkart knows me, my taste, preferences. Flipkart can recommend me. This is called personalization. Now let us go to level 2 guys. Improving experience by doing various things, by playing trailers, by showing what makes sense to you, some kind of recommendations here by showing some most famous products to you. These are not use cases, okay? Next is, how do we ensure that my revenue is maximized or the person who is there on my platform ends up buying my product? How do I ensure that? Okay? So there is a concept of hyper-personalization nowadays, guys. There is something called personalization and there is something called hyper-personalization. What is the difference? Personalization means Aman and people similar to Aman. All of these will be recommended same things. Okay. Hyper-personalization means Aman and nobody else. Aman will be recommended what nobody else is recommended. Which means one recommendation for one person. Hyper-personalization or to a very small group. That is another huge case in e-commerce that is becoming very very famous. When we talk of recommendation and personalization, then there is a detailed playlist of recommendation engine on my channel guys. The link is right here. I have explained how item item collaborative filtering works, how uh, user user collaborative filtering works, what are the different ways to do recommendation, 
So if you are interested in more technical details, you can watch those videos. So what I am saying here is recommendation engine is one big area. The second area in e-commerce platform is how do you maximize your profit by ensuring that customer ends up in buying the product. Okay. So for example, when you go to make my trip and try to book a ticket and suppose in payment, you go to the payment page and then you are not able to make the payment and something happens. You immediately get a call from make my trip saying you are trying to book sir. What is the problem? So I send you a payment link, something like that. What we are trying to do here? We are trying to take the live streaming data. Try to understand guys. This is a live data. The call you will get from make metric in next five minutes only. This is a live data that goes to the system. There is a model in place which tells that this customer has high propensity to buy because this customer has come to till the payment page. So improve your conversion rate, improve your conversion rate by converting this customer. This is an analytics use case, real time data processing with real time and then trying to improve the conversion rate. Why make my trip is not calling to everyone? Why to the people who are on the payment page only? Why to the people who have spent more than 20 minutes on the page only? Some kind of recommendation, some kind of conversion here. So how to improve the conversion rate? Third is some kind of fraud detection can be done on e-commerce platforms. So you would have heard about many cases where people do some fraud on the online platforms. What kind of profiles do these frauds? What kind of attributes these profiles have? What kind of behavior these profiles have? What kind of login time they log into? You create a profile of the customer and you know, you, you just give a score, propensity to fraud or a logistic regression model or a classification model. These are some of the areas where you will ensure that your sales profit revenue is maximized. And third important area guys, how do you ensure that your, your customer comes back to your store again and again? How do you ensure that? So if I go to a physical store and buy a t-shirt, I get good, uh, good first impression. I get good experience. I get good product at good price. Then only I will come, right? And third thing is if there is some defect in the t-shirt I take, what happens when I go back to the store and say, hey, there is some defect in the t-shirt? How is the response? Is the, is the shop owner responding to me in a good way? Same thing applies to online platforms also. Suppose you have taken a Netflix, uh, let's say membership. Now suppose Netflix tells you that you cannot cancel your membership for next one year. So that is not a good thing, right? So once somebody becomes a customer, somebody is a Flipkart customer, one thing you will observe that if you are a long time Flipkart customer, right? then your return request will be placed very easily. And if you are just very new customer and in the first order only you are doing return, you might get a call from Flipkart saying what is the reason, this, that. What is the reason for that guys? They have done some kind of customer profiling. So Aman is a long time customer. Aman is a, a returning customer. Aman is a revenue generating customer. Aman is a customer who can do lot of revenue in lifetime. So what I am saying here CLTV, customer lifetime, another huge case you can do. Segmentation of customer, another use case you can do. All these you can do to improve revenue at the same time to improve the post sales experience. If we talk of NLP area, right, you can put a very good chatbot in the place which can solve many customer queries. For example, you can have a system handy which keeps all the order number of the customer. At the moment I say hi, chatbot responds saying which order you want to talk about, order 1, order 2, order 3. You click on order 1. Then it says, how can I help you with order one, return, replace, something like that. Improving user experience post sales. That is what I am talking about. Improving user experience when they call to your customer care. How can you reduce the wait time? So sometimes five minutes, it will be option one, option two, option three, option four. Can you reduce that in some way? Can you understand the customer behavior? Suppose I go to the flip cart and I click on shoes. And then in some shoes, I may have some queries. Okay. And I call to the customer care and say, you know, my intent of calling is I want to understand some properties of the shoe, right? So there will be a dedicated team who understand that shoes very well. So why not my live data is taken and my call is directly forwarded to that team. That is another way to improve customer experience. So if you notice guys, I'm talking about three things mainly. Improving customer experience, maximizing your revenue, 
and working on post sale you know giving good experience to the customer any business be it e-commerce online offline if you do these three things your business is going to do good now if you relate these things with any of the e-commerce that is in your mind right then you will be able to find many use cases there i have just spoken about few here you will be able to find many data science use cases around that so i hope you like this video guys give me a thumbs up if you like this video drop me a comment what you want me to cover in next video i will see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care